everyone today we'll be talking about the difference between what's up like for personal use and what's up business i think this is something that you've been asking about what is the difference between using one versus the other and why you should be using one versus the other as well and so i did a little presentation here with the difference between between both um so there's a whole website if you go to whatsapp.com business where you can get a ton of information on the WhatsApp business app, right? It's like quick replies, your business profiles, labels, and API and, and bots or chats. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that so that you have a better understanding with the difference in between both, right? Like how do you differentiate one versus the other? And so I did this little presentation so you have a better understanding of it. And I would say the biggest thing about what's up business is that, is that it's focused more for small businesses right so if you're a small business owner or an entrepreneur what this can help you really is with customer support sales and a little bit of marketing right facebook uh, which owns whatsapp has done a pretty good job in not making the same mistakes they did with messenger or other tools right where where, where businesses could just bombard um customers or users with information uh, so they're trying to limit that a little bit with whatsapp their monetization um, the way they monetize the platform is a bit different as well with how you pay as a business but in general what's up business it's really focused for small business owners so that you can market sell and provide customer support and integrate that with other tools as well what is the big difference between one versus the other i would say if you're using personal whatsapp you're going to look into your profile with something like this you're going to have your name a small description a uh, phone number and a picture and that's it right when it comes to whatsapp business you can actually do a business profile and that allows you to not just have an image but also include uh things like um, your map right so where are you based out of uh, you can verify that account so that they know that they're talking to a business and not a personal account the type of business that you're talking to and also that like what days you're open what days are you open from what time to what time contact information like websites um, not just a phone number but an email address as well and so if you look at this image here you can actually have a small business profile where you're you're basically uh, providing more information to your customers as a business not, not as a for personal use but so that if people go to your profile they can actually go to a number of different places and get more information with regards to your business specifically so your profile is a big difference um, so what can you get from one versus the other and this is just a small table that where you can see on whatsapp personal like the normal whatsapp that everyone uses you can get a name profile picture status phone number but when it comes to WhatsApp business, you can actually get a ton more stuff. Like you can get your, your description for your business. You can have open and close hours and days as well. The category of your business, email, website, and you can actually do verify accounts so that they know that they're talking to a business and not a personal account. So from a profile perspective, you can get more information out there to your customers or users. The second thing is ads, and I think this is a big one because I, I, this is going to be big in the next couple of months, especially next year. You can actually interact with people um, and send ads within Facebook and Instagram or, or both platforms into WhatsApp. There's actually more ads coming for statuses or stories within WhatsApp and most likely um, ads like the ones you see on Facebook Messenger. But for now, what you can basically do is you can market within the Facebook and Instagram platform and send people to your WhatsApp business. If you're using personal WhatsApp, you can't do that. You have to use WhatsApp business and you're going to get messages like this one. Uh, we've been actually using one for our WhatsApp business guide so that when people click, we actually send them the guide through WhatsApp, like not an email. Um, it's not a website. It's, it basically goes through the, the same WhatsApp so that you're interacting with people differently. That obviously creates challenges and i'm not going to talk about it in this video in this video specifically but i want to give you a, br a brief introduction on, on difference differences between both right with personal you can't do ads with your facebook business um that you're integrating right like your whatsapp business within your facebook business you can actually do ads within the facebook and also the instagram platform and the other big thing that i think differentiates a lot 
Uh, if you're a small business owner, like the features or additional features that you can actually use within WhatsApp business, one is labels. And so, and I'm gonna do a whole blog post on this because there's ways in which you can use labels so that you can send broadcast. So not just quick replies, but actually just like you have a newsletter where you are sending it out to all of your community, you can do something similar with limitations within um, labels, right? You can actually group people. So people who are sending you messages, you group them together and then you can select different groups so that you can send broadcasts to them or messages so that you keep interacting with your customers. Uh, so labels are pretty good for using broadcast, but also just understanding where your customer is in your workflow, right? Or your sales or marketing flow. Um, are they actually customers? Are they looking for just information? But it allows you to just manage your chat much better. Quick replies. What this helps you is basically automate a couple of, with limitations, right? Like yeah, conversations with customers. But you can actually automate things here, and we're gonna talk about it in other videos as well. Same thing with predetermined messages. Like you can you can get small uh, words. So if I type like thanks, for example, that's gonna send them a specific message. Or if I type a specific word, um, it's gonna send them automatic messages that I don't have to retype or copy and paste again. So it's a it's a quick way to interact better with your customers and have saved messages that you can send to them. And the last thing is you can actually connect your WhatsApp business with your fan page. And we have another video where we actually talk about how to connect your fan page with your WhatsApp business. In this way, you're interact you're interlacing or connecting all of your Facebook platforms, right? So Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, they're integrated into um, the same one so you can actually market to your customers better. Um, so that's a, a bit of an overview of the difference between WhatsApp business and the normal WhatsApp. Uh, if you wanna know more about Facebook or um, just how to use WhatsApp business, make sure that you join our Facebook group. It's completely free. If you go into WhatsApp business, everything you need to know to run your marketing. Uh, we have a really pretty good group that's been interacting where you can, you're going to see more content that can help you, like how to connect your WhatsApp business with your Facebook tutorial. Uh, people ask questions in here as well, and there's more information. So make sure you look for this um, Facebook group so you can actually ask more questions, get more information. And also we have a free guide, a WhatsApp business guide that you can download for free. Uh, so just so that you understand better the potential of Facebook, uh, using Facebook with WhatsApp business as well. Um, a bit of what we talked about today, why it's important and how to start launching ads and using it to your best advantage. Uh, there's also a WhatsApp business page, right? You can use this as well if you need more information, but um, join our group, download our study guide uh, so that you can get more information and updated information on how to use WhatsApp, how to run your marketing with WhatsApp. I'll be running workshops as well in the future and examples of how I'm using WhatsApp business in order to build a community, in order to generate leads, and in order to gener generate sales as well. Um, so make sure you join. Thanks for listening today. If you have questions, make sure you ask them below. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye.